Well, praise be to the living God, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Just uh, kind of had this thought. We had uh, we have this this dog, this old dog. His name's Moses, an old chocolate lab. It's funny. It feels like yesterday we just got him, but he's he's. Uh, I think we got him either. We might have might have got him just when we got married. So he's uh, we've been married eleven years now. So I think I think he's probably about 11, 11, 10, 11, 12 years, something like that. But he's you can see him. He's starting to get older. Like it doesn't you know it's hard for him to sit down anymore, lay down. And, and we uh, we stumbled up, up across another dog. I, mean, I don't know if it's a puppy, but it's probably less than a year old, the full energy. And uh, it's been really neat to see how he, the younger dog, has got the older dog kind of going again and, and active. And, you know, we right now he, the, the younger dog's still not really 100% housebroken, so we keep him in the bathroom at night where it's tiled. And every morning I get up and I let him out and he runs by Moses. Oh, by the way, we, we've called him Aaron. And, uh, and Moses gets up and he's, you know, 5.30, wagging his tail, going around, chewing his bone, playing. You know, and it got me to thinking, you know, really, that, that that's what we should be doing for one another as, as brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we should be considering one another, as the word says, and provoke, provoking one another to love and good works. You know, that we, sh- we should make those around us uh, want, want God more and want to serve God more. Uh, just encouraging one another um, with scriptures and psalms and spiritual songs, um, just, you know, provoking, you can, you know, you can provoke someone to, to wrath or to anger, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to provoke them to, 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 uh, love and good works. And we really do that by, you know, you, by edifying and just talking about the word. And, um, I remember when I, when we first moved down to Florida here, and we started fellowshipping with Team Jesus preachers down in Fort Myers. How blessed I was! It just every it was all, everything. Everything was about Jesus all over the place. The conversations were all about the Lord, and we didn't really have that in New York. There's a couple of people that were zealous for God, but you know, you'd go you'd go to like gatherings, and they'd be more interested in playing board games. You know, you'd be like, "Let's talk about the Lord," and they'd kind of be like, you know, just want to play board games you know it was more of like a that's for the that's for church that's for the daytime type type attitude whereas these brothers down here um you know they're always just talking about jesus and and uh and the same thing now you know i'm I'm fellowshipping in tampa more and um really what i've noticed is that everyone that pretty much everyone that i really know is just walking close with god and they're just obsessed with the with the bible you know and and i just love zeal the brothers and sisters just to always be talking about God and uh, and, and just provoking one another um, to good works to love and to good works and encouraging one another to keep on to press on you know um, so just that little word of encouragement for you guys tonight be provoking one another to love and good works um, you know not neglecting the meeting together as some have been prone to do uh, but even more as the day approaches, you know, we need to be, we need to be in fellowship one with another. In Acts, they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and the breaking of bread and in prayer. So let's continue to do that and just more, just find people who are just obsessed with God, just fellowship with them and just, just be, be with them all, every moment you can and just encouraging one another because it, the devil wants to just destroy these ministries that are going on. He wants to destroy the ministry that that he's given you, you know, uh, God's, God's given you a ministry and the devil wants to destroy it. So, um, edify one another, you know, correct one another where, where necessary, speak the truth in love and all the glory be to Jesus.